Hey friends, I'm Ava. Today we've got something super cool lined up for you. We're not just doing math, we're going on an adventure. And guess what? We've got a special friend from planet Earth joining us to tackle some awesome 6th grade math puzzles. Let's give a cosmic welcome to Ale! Hey, I'm Ale. Today we'll be revising rounding whole numbers and decimals. To keep it simple, just remember 5 letter rise, 4 or less letter rest. Super simple, right? If your number ends in a 5 or more, you'll round up. If your number ends in a 4 or less, you'll round down. This rule applies to both whole numbers and decimals, and the place value to be rounded. Take the whole number, 718, and round to the nearest 10. The last digit ends in an 8, so we know we have to round it up. However, we need to know that the 8's in the 1's place will round out the 1 and the 10's. If we have a number like 695, for example, we will start with the 1's place. Round up the 10, which will round up the 100's. In this case, the 5 will round up the 90, and 695 will round up the 700. Let's put this into practice with decimals. If we want to round up 6.32 to one decimal place, which means one digit after the decimal point, we would either round it down to its lower value, 6.3, or round it up to the upper value, 6.4. Depending on the value of the second digit after the decimal point, to do this effectively, let's use the number line. Applying the method that we have learned, you see that two is less than five, Therefore, it will round down to the lower number, 6.3. For two or three decimal places, apply the same method and remember to look at each place value. More than five, let it rise. Four or less, let it rest. Try pausing and have a go at these questions. How did he do? If you're going to take a step back, check out our video on decimals and place value. Hey everyone! Did you like our videos? Then don't forget to subscribe! Search for Few School Kids on YouTube.